Hey, Kiff. Kiff has decided to watch the playthrough of this episode of Guardians Chronicles. So, I better make sure I get all the rules correct. Or he will disapprove. It looks like he already disapproves. Anyway, back in a bit with the next strategy phase. Alright, we're back. I've done the strategy phase. And let's see who's going to go first. I added up their speeds as a team. And again, the Night Squad is going first. So the first to go in the Night Squad is going to be Night Vigilante. As you can see, he's surrounded by dudes. But luckily, he's got his trusty Night Orangs. And those are going to give him the ability to make three ranged attacks with one additional combat die. So, his attack right now is 3 plus 1 red, and he's going to get an additional combat die, which is the white one, so it's going to be 4 white, 1 red. And he gets three ranged attacks with this. So the first one's going to be against this uh, arachnoid, and as we can see, arachnoids have a defense of 4 as well, and 1 hit point. So, that's not going to be enough to hit, that's 3. Second attack against that same guy. That's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4 with a POW. Let's just see what comes up. 5, 6. So, yeah, that guy died. And then he's going to do the third attack against this dude. I should have been rolling additional. Nice. 1, 2, 3, 4, which is enough to kill this android. Now, also, before you write in, your congressman. I know I forgot to give everyone on the Liberty Squad the extra action given by Sergeant Freedom. So I'm going to give that card back to Sergeant Freedom because since I didn't use it, I'm going to just pretend I didn't play it. It's unfair. All right. So that was his first action. His second action is going to be to ignore that dude back in the closet and move. And his movement is three right now. So a one. A two, a three, that's one, and then one, two, three, that's two. No, he doesn't want to do that, because if he does that, then uh, no one can move in there and open that door, because you have to be right in front of the door to do it, unless you have ranged attack, which only he on his entire team have. So, nope, oh, that's it for him. Now, for the Liberty Patrol, which, whose t uh, team name I just remembered, it's going to be Supernova first. A Supernova has a Plasma Blast, which allows her to make a ranged attack that affects every character, including allies in the target's area. And since she can fly, she can ignore other enemies. So, this is going to present a bit of a problem because she wanted to move in here and attack that square that or she wanted to move in here and attack here the problem is that now that night vigilante is there he's blocking line of sight so she can't target anybody in that area anymore so now what she's going to do is she's going to move one. Now she can move out of there. She's just wondering if she wants to or if she wants to attack that uh, robot. She'll attack that robot. So she gets four dice plus one. And yeah. So she's not using her plasma blast, just a regular attack. <laughs> yeah, I think she killed the robot. She's got five plus two pals, so that's seven. 8, 9, 10. So this guy died. He died twice. Now, uh, friendlies don't block line of sight, but enemies do. But now, Golden Boy is free to move as he pleases. So, her next action is going to be To move in here. She's got th one more action. Two. And 
Like she could move and take over that spot so that the bat, the the uh, night squad can't open that door. But then she's going to get attacked by Lieutenant Bigfoot and by armor for that matter. And I'm not sure she wants to do that. Nope, she's going to chill out right there. She can't make any more attacks. So that's it for her turn. Now next up for the Night Squad is Armor. What's Armor going to do, everybody? Armor has the ability to give allies in his area plus two defense. So apparently they predicted that they were going to get attacked. Uh, and he's got additional intelligence. So what could he be planning, everyone? He's going to move. He's going to go there. Like so. And then he's going to roll an intelligence check to open that door. So, as we see, the door is a 3. Dif difficulty, he needs to hit a 5 or less. He hit a 5. So this door is now open. And the Liberty Patrol is extra sad. And he's got line of sight on Dr. Scaroff now. But they can't actually get in there unless they kill that robot. So uh, Armor's going to take a swing at that robot with his four combat dice. He got two. And that's all of his actions. So next on Liberty Squad's team, Liberty Patrol, is Golden Boy. And what's Golden Boy got? He's got Earthquake. Choose an adjacent space, attack every character in that in the area of that space. And then he's got a little bit extra speed. The issue that he has here uh, he would like to go in there and attack those guys there. He would blow that space up. But he's got a night vigilante standing there that he can't pass. So just like Supernova, he's going to blow that area effect because Night Vigilante's standing there. So uh, he's going to go one, two, like that. Now he is adjacent to Night Vigilante. Uh, now he could go in there, but it's going to take him a whole action to go in there. So that might be actually worth it. So he could do his movement of three and then spend an action, one of his three actions to get in there and then spend his last action to do the attack. So he's going to do that. Whenever you're leaving a space with an enemy in it, you have to spend a whole action in addition to the movement to get in there. So now he's in there, he's going to do his attack. And he's got a three combat plus two pow on this attack. And he's going to make He's going to hit everyone other than himself in the area of that space. So all three of these guys are going to get hit by this attack. It's 3 plus 2 red. Oh my god. Okay, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 damage. Let's see. This guy is obviously dead. Uh, Lieutenant Bigfoot has a defense of 5, so he got hit. Armor has a defense of 4. They both got hit. So when you get hit, you take these like cool little damage tokens, these guys here, and stick them on your character. He's got one, and he's got one. And when those uh, are higher than your health number, you get a wound card. So that's it for them. Alright, that was quite a turn there, golden boy. Uh, last is going to be Lieutenant Bigfoot. Now there is an enemy in his space because Golden Boy is there. But let's see what Lieutenant Bigfoot shows. Uh, he's got Natural Leader, which means you can move each ally on the board to an adjacent area. That looks like a team teleport. And he's got a pretty good attack number here. So that's pretty awesome. I just realized everybody in, in that area with armor has plus two defense, but... That roll was so insane that even upping his defense to two would still get him hurt. So, Alright, so Lieutenant Bigfoot 
Uh, he needs to get in there and do some damage. I think what he wants to do is leave the space with Golden Boy. So that's going to take up an action and a movement. So he's going to move in here. Now I might be reading this wrong. It says to an adjacent area. It doesn't mean whether it's adjacent to him or an adjacent to the ally. So I think it's adjacent to him. That seems really, really powerful. But they're not really that far away. So uh, He's going to use that as an action. So he's moved and then he's going to do that. So he's going to move uh, Golden Boy. You know, let's play, let's play it as an, it's an adjacent to them area. So that's going to put Golden Boy there and Knight uh, Vigilante there. That seems more legit. Give everybody a free move. Um, and then he's going to use his last action to punch Dr. Scar off. But, since he left, he uh, ended his activation. Oh, he hasn't ended it yet. But uh, he's going to punch him, and when Dr. Scaroff is attacked, Scaroff makes two attacks with one less combat die. So Bigfoot is going to attack. He's got four plus two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine damage. And Scaroff's defense is five. So Scaroff is going to take a pal. Boom. Oh, wait. Okay, right, so now his defense is going to be increased by one. As well as his attack. Put that there. Now he's going to make two attacks with one die less. So his attack is seven. He's going to roll six dice. Um, you know what? I need to check something and see if adding to his scores, give him a red dice. I'll be right back. Okay, so a cursory examination couldn't tell me whether uh, it was power dice or not, but I think since it's bonuses, um, it seems like it makes sense. So he's rolling four white and three red, but we're taking one die away because of this uh, special ability he has, so. That's three, that's not enough to hurt. Lieutenant uh, Bigfoot, and one, two, three, four, five, six, and Lieutenant Bigfoot has five, so that is another damage to Lieutenant Bigfoot. Boop. All right, that's the end of his turn, because he moved, he summoned his dudes, and he attacked. So the last person... On the uh, Liberty Patrol is Sergeant Freedom. Now, Sergeant Freedom doesn't have much he can do right now. Uh, he has got in incredible charisma, so allies adjacent to you in your air or in your area may take back one of their cards. So, wait, I put the wrong guy in there. I put Golden Boy instead of Armor in there. So, um, he's going to want to get in here and then use that ability so everyone can get a card back. So he's going to go one, two, which he can do because of this white line here. That's one action. For his second action, he's going to do that. So everyone gets a card back. Let's see. I think I'll get Golden Boy this plus one attack. Um... <clears throat> And Supernova will take Aerial Transport back. That's it. I don't, I'm assuming Sergeant Freedom is not an ally of himself. And then for his other action, he will just move in here, like so. Like that. So he can force Night Vigilante to make one move to get to him. All right, so that's it for the player's turn. Now for the end of round. The missile goes up one. The robots move, so um, the Liberty Squad, the Liberty Patrol had initiative again, so they're going to move the robots. So uh, arachnoids have three movement. 
That's one, two, three. There's nobody to attack. This guy goes one, two, three. Nobody to attack. This guy is going to go one and attack Night Vigilante. This guy's going to go one. Uh, he's going to have to attack. Uh, he's going to have to attack Night Vigilante as well. And then this guy's going to go one, two, three. And that's all the robots on the board. So we have two attacks on Night Vigilante. And these are just uh, one's an arachnoid, but the androids and arachnoids have the same combat ability. Three. So let's roll. This is the android on Night Vigilante. That's three. Four. His defense is six. And the, dino or the uh, arachnoid. Two. So nobody hurt. Night Vigilante. Uh, Dr. Scaroff, I owe uh, Lieutenant Bigfoot another attack from Dr. Scaroff. So, a ranged attack with one additional hit. So, Dr. Scaroff rolls 4 plus 3 with one additional hit. So, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, and 2 pals. 5 which is Bigfoot's defense. Bigfoot's got three. Um, now we roll to see if the robots explode. So we'll start over here and go left. Uh, this arachnoid does not explode. Arachnoid one does not explode. Arachnoid two does not explode. The arachnoid in there does explode, but nobody's in his area. Um, does it hit? Nobody in the area. And then that guy does not. Okay, and then we construct new robots, which are going to be gynoids. Gynoids are kind of scary in this particular scenario because they have the ability to shoot and they choose to do so quite frequently. Okay, that's it for the end of round two. I'll pause the episode here. When we come back, we'll have done the strategy phase for the next episode. Thanks for watching.